Back to my channel. My name is Nikki Vante. If you've been here before, hey. And if you haven't, well, guess what? We are off to Ghana. We're going to Ghana. You're going to Ghana with me. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally just finished packing. Of course, I wait until the absolute last minute, the last millisecond to finish packing. It is about 4.30 right now. I have to be out of this house at 4.45. So we are about to just gather up all of our things, head to the airport. It is Dutty December in Ghana. If you are familiar, tell me if you've ever been before. If you are not, I am gonna show you in this vlog what it's all about. I have been waiting to take this trip since I moved to New York. I have heard so much about Dutty December and heard so much about Ghana and her so much about everything that happens there, especially during the month of December, and I have been waiting for this trip. The trip finally made it out the group chat, friend. I'm going with my girls, Shannon, Islima, Ashley, Sydney. These are some friends that I've already had, and then some new ones that have entered the chat. I'm so excited to hang out with the girls, and then we're also going with this travel group, Discover Giddy. Discover Giddy! You pay them, and they take care of your itinerary, where you stay, like everything like that, so it just makes my life a whole lot easier, and also being able to just meet a bunch of new people. I'm really excited about that. We are about to get this show on the road. Excuse my sore throat, by the way. I am just getting done. I don't know what happened. I like got a little sick, just a little bit. <coughs> my stomach is doing a mumbling and a tumbling. I'm starting to feel better. My throat is just, she's going through it. She's having a moment. My, my voice, my voice completely gone. We're just gonna shut up as much as we can today. This is probably as much as y'all hear me talk. And yeah, let's go ahead and head to the airport, friend. Like I said, I am finished packing up. All of my stuff is like right here, ready to go. My house is spick and span clean. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. We do not come into the new year with a dirty house. We do not come into the new year with dirty clothes. So I have to make sure that I clean my house, I wash my clothes, I wash my sheets, I wash my, I was washing down boots, okay? Wash my dishes, all of that, everything is all put away so that we can enter the new year fresh, feeling good, and I can walk into my house when I get done with this trip and feel like I ain't got nothing to do but lay back in the bed. <laughs> Yeah, we made it through. Made it through the airport with Shannon. The cameras have turned on. You might be on camera. Oh, I sure do not. I'm screaming. Not I sure do not. It's Lima, Shannon. The Ghana girls are ready to activate. Getting a little Prosecco. Prosecco. I don't really like Prosecco. Toast. It makes my stomach bubble. Pinot Grigio. Yeah, and I'm gonna get a little orange Yeah. Juice. She said I'm gonna get me a little orange juice, a little mimosa. I know, that's right. Now what you gonna put that in? Okay, you guys. I already see how this trip is gonna go. We're headed to Morocco first. It's only about six hours. And I'm gonna be knocked out the entire time. I haven't slept all day long and I've been waiting on this moment to get, what is going on? What? She ready to turn up right now. We had a day. And I didn't even get a cup because I'm a little hood with it, you feel me? You feel me? What are we cheersing to? I'm finally being on this trip. Okay, so no more payments. It's time for the Ghana man to step up. Cheers to dirty, dirty December. Dirty December, cheers. <laughs> cheers to the girls we <laughs> You gotta watch those V words. You gotta watch those V words. That's so childish. <laughs> Grow up. Hey, 
y'all. It's been so long since we talked, literally. Probably like a couple days. Y'all know we were supposed to be stopping in Morocco. I didn't get a chance to do anything because I was literally on my deathbed. I am kind of slightly still on it, but not really. I have been feeling so incredibly sick. Remember when I left out my house and I said my throat was sore? It just got worse. I completely lost my voice. I, my head was hurting. I was just down bad, girl. But nonetheless, we made it to Ghana safe and sound. We are in an Airbnb right now. It's really nice. We're only gonna be here for a couple of days and then we're gonna go to our hotel after that. Today is actually Christmas day. I brought some medicine because I knew that I wasn't feeling that good. I ended up bringing some Mucinex, which I don't know if she's been doing much of anything to be honest with you. <coughs> That's so nasty. Yeah, so the girls are out there getting their hair braided. It's an entire salon in the Airbnb. The way I'm so jealous. I haven't talked to my little sister at all today. My mother, my mother is also out of the country for Christmas. This is our first like time not spending Christmas together. Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You're not crying, shut up. Bro, you're crying for real or are you playing? No, On your favorite holiday. Oh gosh. Oh, Cynthia. So you want to Africa? As much as I can, you know I've been sick. I'm starting to feel a little bit better though. Let me see yours. Yours is cute too. very much so down bad. We're trying to get her back together. First, it was the cold. And my glasses are crooked. <laughs> I'm so irritable right now. Now, my stomach is doing a mumbling and a tumbling. And I haven't even eaten anything. I'm literally losing it. And then we have this Lima here. You look so, do you see how this camera got you looking? It's, it's. And you know she put her glasses on just for y'all. <laughs> Period. So we came to the nail salon. The girls got their hair done yesterday. Stephen yeah. has hers up. Shannon has hers to the side. She is like her middle part. She calls, I'm screaming, no. This is, I need somebody to comment down below to see. Do these look like zillions? Oh my God, wait. She Can said they're the Moesha braids. I gotta ask the people to guess how many braids she got in her head. What? How, how do you know how many braids she got in her hair? I don't. I just wanna so know what So why they would think. they get <laughs> Where I will count them. Who's doing that? I will do it. At what point of this trip will you be counting her? So I'll, I'll count them tonight. When we get ready to go out? Oh, we're going to have a little fun. You don't have faith in me? Where is oh, okay, okay. It's going shattered in the trash. <laughs> so now we're here at this nail salon. What's the nail salon called? Oh, my nails. Oh, my nails. Oh, my nails. Shannon found it on TikTok. And she stole the girl's nail design that she saw on TikTok too. That, <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Maybe the Pepto Bismol is hating me a little bit. Grace, do you want to be on camera? Look, and then Grace. <laughs> Say hi, Grace. <laughs> this is Grace from Denver. You have to say to the people, Grace. Too shy, too shy, too shy. I finally feel a little bit better, so we are about to head out and go and finally see what the nightlife in Ghana is all about. We're going to a restaurant called Kozo. I look insane. Like my lashes. Hello, can you even see me? Hello. You can see I'm kind of getting a little bit of my energy back. It's, 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 I'm kind of starting to feel like myself again, almost. My lashes look insane, but I'm not redoing them today. I'll probably redo them tomorrow. I really didn't want to, but I think it was because I was sick and I just like was rubbing on my eye. It's just too much going on. I'm tired of talking about how I felt. I'm tired of it. We have dinner reservations at nine. And so we're going to leave out really, really early because the traffic here, y'all, it's a matting. It gets me a little anxious because there's so many people that's walk, that walk in the streets and like are trying to sell stuff. And then kids just like sitting and staring at you while you waiting at the red light. It's a lot going on in them streets. I'm actually about to film a TikTok of me just like doing a get ready with me. I'll probably put y'all next to me because we haven't even really talked all day today. I don't know what's going on. It's tea for you. <laughs> Christine, Justine, Kathleen, Charlotte, 
I started filming my little tiki tock. I'm just gonna rush through my makeup. I'm not about to do nothing super crazy because it's so hot outside. I just wanna make sure my makeup is like pretty decent. And I bought primer for this trip because I just need my stuff to just stay on as long as it possibly can. Because my makeup does have a tendency to just slide the off. So I was like, maybe primer will help. All right, y'all, so we're getting ready to head out. <laughs> We're about to do a little quick OOTM. Out outfit of the night, period. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Set me up, hit me up, hit me up. Hold on. Put my little chamois. Put your little chamois. Not a little jackass. <laughs> Hold on, let her get her moment off. Let her get her rocks off real quick. Go off. Little ASOS, a little forever. Yeah. Uh, a little what? Y'all seen this before. I wore this little house of CB when I was in London. But now we in Africa with it, period. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably not gonna bring y'all out with me tonight just because I don't know how comfortable I feel about bringing my phone out. I gotta scope the scene out first to see if I can handle bringing my camera out. I'm not really totally sure yet. Hey, Salima, you know who calling you. You know who calling. Ooh, yeah. Let the people see what you got on. Wait, but the room is messy. Hold on, bring it. <laughs> Bring the camera. The room is messy. It's giving reality. It's like a minute. It's giving reality. Yeah. You see her? You see her with the girl sitting up high? Yeah. Yeah. And I asked her. She was, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> Don't try to save yourself. Try to control the narrative. Control the narrative. She has been an old woman for all day today. Her and me both. she been like an auntie, not a grandma. Cause you was a grandma earlier in the trip. She said 52 year old. 52. It, mm. Today is right now we gave 38. I need to go a little lower. <laughs> I need Which to... means you need to drop that ass a little lower. I can't wait to go out tonight Her. to see what it looks like. Period. Okay, he's here. Okay. All right, let's okay, go. All right, so I will leave y'all here. I'm probably just gonna vlog on my phone for the rest of the night. Oh, I did end up bringing a small brush so I can put it in my purse because I always go out without a brush. Like a fool. I'm feeling a lot better though. Thank I'm God. Girls are outside. Since they won't chop me like Suya I'm more no big girl for this girl Yeah, I am so good Call the cops when you see too high Call the cops when you see too high Call the cops when you Y'all, good morning. We are about to head out of the Airbnb and head to the Discovery Giddy Hotel. I feel like we've been on this trip for at least a week. We're only on, I think, like day three or something. Yesterday was our first like full day out and about. It's gonna be a long week. Everybody's all packed up. We're about to head out. Let's go. Finally prioritizing getting some food because we haven't prioritized that. Right. <laughs> I really hope you didn't get the thing I said right before you said Did not. I literally <laughs> pressed record anything happy right to be before. Here. Happy, to be here. happy to be here. So happy to be here. Hopefully we get some good food, yes. some water. Ooh, with the ginger? I never like teamwork sounds good, actually. And maybe a ginger shot. And then can I get the quinoa vegetable stir fry? No, that's the quinoa. It's protein enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we're about to head out. I'm probably just gonna bring my phone out with me. Shannon looks super cute. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I got my little Hanifa dress on. Mama's first Hanifa. Y'all can't even see yes. this. Where was my girl again? Well, she was bringing her dad. <laughs> okay, y'all, so hi. Hey. Hi. Don't so, mind our surroundings. Please don't mind our surroundings. We're please. Cut. We're in the cut. <laughs> Just got back from the party with Discover Giddy. We went to a place called, what was it called? The woods. It was fun. It was actually fun. It was cute. It was just a lot of women there. It's yeah. 84 women and 24 <laughs> <Four> men. men. <laughs> you said 20. That's steep. 
we enjoyed our time, but we ended up walking away with something because somebody took my goddamn fan. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what the hell I took. Somebody's goddamn bottle. <laughs> <laughs> our janky ass room. Yeah, yeah. In the trenches. I truly can't believe they got us staying at the Holiday Inn. Yes. Oh. Let's be clear, we ain't no cheap ass. It's not us. All right, y'all, so probably won't talk to you for the rest of the night, so I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye, Bye. Hi, friends, how y'all doing? First of all, let's get it together. Not let's get it together. Let's get it together. You gotta tell them about the night. The night was good, the night was a vibe. Night is, we ain't done. That's what, you better correct me, friend. We was exactly where the f we were supposed to be, on the stage on a table on the stage. You feel me? Yes. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, that's, that's a lot of cheeks. Me and Shannon don't even act like this. We don't. Do y'all not? For, in, for the company, no. Are you questioning me? Who is company? Them? <laughs>I feel like I've been such a terrible vlogger for this trip. It is just so hard to, yo, let me just, let's just take a step back. It's Thursday. This is our second full day with the travel group that we came with. So that's all I got for y'all because I don't know what day, how many days I've been in Africa at this point. I don't know. It's all one big blur. I feel like I have been bad at vlogging. Down so bad. I feel like I've been down bad. The problem is we haven't been doing anything other than hidden the club i don't really have much to show y'all other than me going out so i've been putting it on my instagram if you don't follow my instagram it's here i am in the hotel room by myself y'all know i'm sharing my room with me and shannon are sharing the room i don't even know if i talked about the setup yet so they got us all hotels we're at the holiday inn no shade no tea you know, um, everything about this trip has been great so far and we're not even halfway through. It's been great. I have been having a really, really fabulous time. Every spot that I've gone to, I am telling everybody like, this is not gonna be the last time I come to this spot. I am loving Ghana. I'm loving it. My friend was actually supposed to come to, to Ghana, but she ended up staying in Lagos. So she's in Nigeria. The girlies are in Africa for Desi December. We are having a good time. I went out yesterday with my little boy here. And today I'm going out with my boy head again because on night one, the way my hair, should I show y'all? I'd be too embarrassed to show y'all. Wait, I brought all these wigs. I brought all my hair equipment. Baby, it is scorching hot. But not only is it hot, I'm not the type of person that like, I don't mind the heat. Like I'm not a person that like will complain that it's too hot unless I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And if it's too hot in my house, then we have a problem. But you know what wasn't comfortable? This wig. I want y'all to see this wig. I have never seen my wig in this form ever, ever in my life. I started the night off, a girl came up to me and she was like, oh my God, your wig is late, like it's late. I was like, yeah, my wig always stay late. It ain't, ain't no lip ditch, no lip ditch happening. Girl, why was it lifting on the side? Oh, this heat, look at this hair. I guess it don't look that bad on camera. This hair was curled. I curled this wig down. Boots. I get outside, the humidity, hair was straight, completely straight. And then we stayed out until about 5 a.m. Look how mad, are you kidding right now? It was just a hot mess and my brush that I brought completely broke. It could not handle it. So if you're thinking about coming to Africa, I just want y'all to know this heat is something serious. I don't know if I'm wearing wigs the rest of this trip. I actually, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tap out like that. I have more wigs. I'm just not gonna wear this long wig on this trip anymore because it doesn't make any sense. But the interesting thing about Ghana is that like, it's seven o'clock right now and we're about to go to Afro Future, the festival. Uh, Davido is headlining. There was an earlier bus that came. Y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but the bus, is literally like you see where those lights are that's where the bus is so they have a bus that came and picked everybody up they went and did some like touristy stuff today too like i think they saw like some garden or i don't know i just could not wake up for that today at all that was like at eight in the morning it was no way i was doing that they had a bus already go to afro future the festival and then they have a second one that's going at seven um and my friends are still napping so i'm just waiting on them to wake the hell up so we can get on a bus and head there because the gates there close at eight o'clock like i said the interesting thing about ghana is that like yeah we're about to go to a festival right and there's an after party so i'll likely come back home to either ch we might change because what ghana is that you could actually sleep in 
until literally, quite literally 1 or 2 a.m. Make it out your house and we'll be right before the party gets started. They don't stop partying until the sun comes the hell up. Yesterday was my first time getting in when the sun was like starting to rise. I would lose my marbles if I was out in the club and the sun was out. I don't know if I'm built for that right there. It's just been a good time. I just wanted to catch y'all up really quickly uh, because we haven't talked at all. Vlog is gonna get a little bit more better because I'll be actually doing day activities starting tomorrow, I think. We just have a lot more to see, so I've been partying a lot and we're not slowing down in any way, shape, or form. I've actually been on my tens on this trip, okay? I ain't been drinking like that. Receipts, proof, timeline. But y'all know, I know how to have a good time. I know how to have a good time without drinking. I'm sorry, I don't know about you, but I do. When we were out the first night, when I had this Raggedy Ann wig on, somebody was like, have, you, have she been drinking, has she been drinking? And they was like, no, she has not. She's sober as hell. The most lit one in the booth. Off no drinks, just energy. Coco from the 1980s, none of that may be energy. All right, y'all, I will talk to you later. I will see you. Um, I'm gonna show y'all clips of me at Afro Future as much as I can. My phone is charged. I have my portable, and I'm gonna make sure I show y'all as much footage as we can. Let's get into the night, girl. Yeah. Shannon's gonna take over for us. Oh my god. I need that to be ASAP. Well, let's say when I put my lip liner on. Morning, guys. Today we're gonna embark on a journey to Cape Coast. Three hours away. Apparently, this is where everyone thinks we should sleep. A three hour nap is what sustains you. Don't worry, sleep on the bus. Don't worry, the price is three hours. Sleep on the bus. Look who joined us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cape Coast Day Event. And 
This happens to be the third dungeon that the Europeans erected along the shores of Ghana. This is the third or the last castle built by the British in the year 1664. So this building that you see has been standing for 359 years. It took the British over 100 years for them to complete just the face face of this castle. So you can imagine how long it took them to complete everything that you see today. And anytime I say the British built this castle, it seems a little dicey and debatable. Just because the actual labor used in building this castle were Africans. In that sense, we can say the Africans built this. And if you ask yourself the reasons why the Europeans even came to Africa in the first place, some came as exploiters, some came to expand their territories, some came as missionaries to spread Christianity, some also came in search of free human labor. Everything started when the Spaniards got onto the New World. When they got onto the New World, gold, silver mines were open. They started to establish huge plantations. Some of the plantations were tobacco, coffee, cotton, sugarcane. Initially, they were using the natives of America known as Red Indians on those land. But then due to tropical diseases, the natives were dying in numbers. So there was one Cali priest named Bartolome de Las Casas who suggested the use of Africans to the Europeans, telling the Europeans Africans are very strong. We can stand tropical diseases, we can work under our condition. We even do the same work under similar climatic conditions here, so we will be the best candidates for that job. The unfortunate story of misery and pain, the false exodus of Africans taken from their motherland to a place that was unknown to them. Ladies and gentlemen, the Europeans erected about 60 forts and castles in the whole of West Africa. Ghana alone, we had about 40 of them, 80%, all because of gold. They even gave our nation a name, and that is the Gold Coast. But then, unfortunately, the demand for gold shifted to the demand for human labor when they started making profits from the human trade. So therefore, structures that were put up for the gold business were then converted into slave dungeons, where millions of Africans on the African continent were captured, and they were made to occupy these dungeons. Each chamber that you see at the time, 200 men were here. So over here we had 1,000 African men who stayed down in here every three months. In the dungeon, the source of light and ventilation came from these three rooms out here. Kind of on the left, yes, really on the right. So wherever they capture you on the African continent, they have to bring you here. This was their transit for this. So you stay here, you wait for your ship to arrive before they take you away to the new world. And over here, captives that were brought in here were not only from Ghana. They captured people as far as modern day Burkina Faso, Senegal, Mali, Nigeria, Niger, Benin, Gambia, Togo, Cote d'Ivoire. And these African men and women were made to walk barefooted wherever they captured them down to the space. Imagine walking all the way from Burkina Faso, Senegal, Benin, Nigeria, down here. Many of them died on their way coming here. Those who refused to come, they were beaten mercilessly. Some were tied to trees. Some were eaten by wild animals on their way coming. And in this castle, the venue for the buying and selling of slaves happens to be this hall. Where we are standing, this is the Palava Hall. This was the auction block. They will be waiting for the captives to arrive so that they examine them. They examine them by first, checking their strength, muscles, paws, teeth to see how strong and young they are before they buy them. And over here, they were not buying humans with money. The wealth of Africans were lowered to the exchange of cheap commodities, such as home, mirror, gunpowder, tobacco, sugar, canned food, whiskey, and toffees. Imagine a giant African man being exchanged for gunpowder. After they are done with this exchange, they send all of them to the courtyard for brandy. Now, straight from the fire for a man, they apply palm oil on your chest first, then straight from the fire, they stamp it to your chest. For a woman at your back, or this side of your hand, for easy identification. And from there, they separate the men from the women. Now all men are moved into the male dungeons. All women are taken down to the female dungeons. You stay there maximum three months, minimum some days to a month, depending the arrival of your ship, before they take you away to the new world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a brief history I have for you about this building and the trans and Atlantis level.
Please keep, keep your hand low, keep your hand low. Let us be in here, give you the narrative, then we move out quickly. Please keep your hand low. Yes. Watch your head. Keep your head low, keep your head low. Of the light for me. Yes, I'm short right here then. trip has gotten sick at some point like on their deathbed at some point we are hanging on by a thread earlier i literally was trying to control my hands i was shaking <laughs> i was like trying to eat my breakfast and i felt like i was like <laughs> the problem is is that we haven't been eating we've barely been drinking water it's like at five o'clock yesterday we got up at seven that was an early night are you early. kidding me we left early we left so early everybody was out until 7 a.m last night Sun was coming up. No, we, no. we went to breakfast and some people were coming to eat breakfast from the club. From the and club! They, and, they were, and it was almost 8. It's like 8.25. And they were in their club dresses, sleep at the table, eating breakfast. Eating breakfast right. and headed to the um, Cape Coast with us. Is that not nuts? I'm Are you insane? Is everything okay at home? <laughs> I got in the elevator with somebody and she was literally like tilted in the elevator like this. So today we're going to a place called Bloomberg. I think that we're gonna have a good time tonight. It's the day before New Year's Eve. So we're trying to rage today and rage tomorrow. And then we'll be calming things down a little bit later. And then maybe at some point I'll find my passport. I'm trying not to think about it because if I think about it, my room will be wrong. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to check in. I'm about to finish doing my makeup, getting ready. I'll show you once we're completely ready. I think I'm gonna put on a wig tonight. It depends on how I style the wig. If I don't like how I style it, I'm taking it off because I can't curl my hair. Because the moment that I step outside, those curls are non-existent. <laughs> if it looks good straight, and I've never seen this wig straightened before. So if it look good straightened, I'm gonna keep it on. But if it does not, you're gonna look like this every day on this strip right here. It's all I got. But we're finally all feeling great. Yeah. We're all looking great. Yeah. Say hi, girly. Hi, That's our way. We, we have to nest our way to the pool. It took so much work to get in here. All I want to do is put my head in some water right now. So we're at this place called Kapinski. It's a hotel. We were going to come for a spa treatment. They didn't have any available. So we just ended up coming to the pool. Maybe a good relaxation session wouldn't hurt us before we go out again tonight. At some point, we should eat something and water. Very true. Hi. Okay. Damn right, we take Oh, yeah, that's what I saw when I took it. I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy missing you when I get on. Now, Julio made me for Bio. We 
needed a couple espresso martinis just to get the night started. It's New Year's Eve, 7.25. Almost time to get ready to hit the streets. <laughs> Not the extra. Not the extra. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, we have to rally because we are. We have to really come up. We have to really rally. We're watching the sun come up on an African beach. On an African beach. So let's fucking go. My bun. Her bun. Are you wearing your hair up today? Up? Um, maybe. I want to see your outfit. I feel like we need to do a bust down. A bust down? We ain't seen a bust down from me. We ain't seen a bust down, mommy. But it's, it's, it's hot. You better wave them around. You better breathe. I'm so happy new year. Happy new year. We just finished dinner. That was a good dinner. That was a good dinner. Although I didn't get all the food that I ordered, but you know what? Thanks to the core, it's about letting it go. 2024, let go, let flow. Let go, let flow, let God. Let go, let flow, let God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Shannon is preaching. I don't know what pastor she became overnight. There is Daniels. Change church Sunday to Oh night. my God. <laughs> so, God, it's been good. This is our last big party. If you can't tell, it's hot. <laughs> it's extremely hot, and the air is on. We're trying our best to hang in there. Hi. So, we're about to head to the party. To the party. To the party. To the party. You know that's how my, what my grandma say. To the party. My churchy grandma, she be like, where y'all going to the party? Going to the party. <laughs> All right, you on? Bye. 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 Three hours later. Right now it is about 10 p.m. Thank God I am not getting ready to go outside. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I am so beat. I'm tired. I want to go home so goddamn bad. I'm also a little annoyed because I know I think I really briefly told y'all that I lost my passport. And it makes no sense to call any of the places that I went to because there no one's gonna help me. No one's gonna help me find my passport. Today I had to go to the United States Embassy to see like what the process was because when I looked it up online the checklist was mad long. It was ridiculous. We need to just go right to the source. They told me that I had to file a police report because I got there too late. They were like it doesn't doesn't make sense to do it today. Wait until tomorrow. So tomorrow I gotta go on, go to the police office, file a report, go to the U U.S. Embassy and then they can give me my passport. From there fingers crossed i'm not even going to take y'all with me when i'm going to do that tomorrow because lord knows like i'm i just want my passport and i've been like trying to forget about the fact that i lost my passport on like day three of the goddamn trips my voice being gone driving me nuts me being sick on this trip for the majority of the trip me being sick driving me nuts this hotel driving me nuts but anyways nonetheless yesterday was new year's i didn't even get a chance i'm also annoyed about that too because i didn't even get a chance to show y'all my new year's fit right i thought i looked really pretty but i didn't get any pictures off <laughs> none of my pictures came out right we also didn't have that much time to take pictures like i just felt like yesterday was one big rush but it was a good night overall good night good day overall if you saw all the videos we were up until like 8 30 in the morning was when we were calling our uber to get the Oh, are you mad right now? I told y'all I'm with this travel group. Some of them are going out tonight. Are y'all okay? I'm a type of person I can push through. I can party anywhere. I can party, okay? Let's be clear. I just, I don't feel like it. I just want to go home and go back to routine. You know what I mean? Like, my days have consisted of nothing but partying and that shit is getting boring right now. It's so boring. I just want to go home, order my Uber Eats, turn on a good movie, lay down. I just want to go lay down. Go. Hey now. We've had a really good time. I've actually had a really great time on this trip. I'm just complaining. I'm having a complaining session right now. I've enjoyed 
every bit of it. I don't even think I told y'all about Cape Coast when we went earlier. Had a great time doing that. Like, I'm so happy we did that. We were also supposed to go and feed the kids the day of yesterday on New Year's. Couldn't wake up and do it. Just wasn't, wasn't in my mission that day. <laughs> But I pray that everybody had a great time. I personally just could not make the day activity that day. Um, and also the travel group that I came with, Discover Giddy, ate it up. Everything is so well organized. Every They like bunched so much stuff into just a few days to allow people to get the full Ghana experience. I am actually pulling back on the partying at this point in my life. This was like my last hurrah. Y'all are gonna see me calm down quite a bit. I'm actually quite tame, to be honest with you. I'm Y'all already know, y'all don't see me going out like that. We be doing boring stuff. We be in the career, baby. We be at home. I'm calming down after this trip. This trip, we're done. <laughs> I lost my case, I lost my passport, I lost my shoes, my hairbrush, gone. I'm a mess. Yeah, and remind me when I get home to get a new phone, please. It's Monday, January 1st. Happy New Year, my babies. Happy New Year. Um, I'm about to just wrap it up. I haven't even eaten all day today. I haven't prioritized eating at all. I would just rather just go to the bed. I'm not gonna lie to you. That ends the rest of the night. I have to be up early. I'm probably gonna be up around like 7.30 to go to the embassy. And hopefully that works out fine. Hopefully it doesn't take a long time. Fingers crossed for your girl. Also, I've seen so many of y'all out here too. Not, somebody came up to me and was like, I'm Ghanaian, I'm, I'm Ghanaian, Ghanaian, Ghanaian. She from Ghana. And she was like, I watch you on your YouTube. Like, da 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 like, all that. So, so hype, so hype. I'm so happy to be seeing y'all out here having a time, okay? So a lot of y'all at Afro Future for sure. But yeah, let me stop chattering. It's been 10 minutes. I have to shut up. Y'all know I can talk all day long. I'm about to go to sleep. And I will see y'all maybe tomorrow. Or maybe by the time I get home. It depends on what we do tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I have no idea. All right. Good night. What is my voice? Good night.